Hello, this is a short, quick tutorial on making skins for the new Steam. Um, <coughs> so if you've got Steam running, you have to shut it down first, because we have to start it in developer mode. And uh, then you want to right-click the resource folder, make a copy, and then go into your skins folder, make a new folder called original or something, and then copy the files, the, the whole folder in here, just to have a backup. Um, uh, you know, you could uh, <coughs> make a copy of the original and just, you know, rename it to your own skin um, and then change the skin to that in Steam. But uh, last time I checked, uh, there was a bug in Steam that, uh, you know, so you couldn't um, see changes in real time if you do it uh, from the skins folder. So I'm going to change the original files because um <coughs> I know that works. Um, so, what we have to do is start Steam in developer mode to make it easier uh, to develop skins. So, uh, if you're on XP, you can just uh, right click Steam, Steam Exer, and then create a shortcut, and then right click the shortcut, and go into properties, and then add um, s uh, uh, dash dev, remember the space, um, apply. Yeah, you don't actually, actually need apply just okay <laughs> it's just an old habit <coughs> the apply button is actually uh, to see changes without closing the dialog so if you're if you're always clicking apply then okay just you know uh, you could use to just click okay because apply is really only if you want to see changes without closing the dialog <coughs> so anyway um, if you're on Vista or Windows 7, you just go up here while you're in your Steam folder and then type Steam Exa, Steam dot Exa, uh, space dash dev for developer, and then hit enter, and Steam should start in developer mode. Okay. Um. So now, um, when you're in developer mode, you get some helping tools to help you create skins, um, and you can access uh, them by using uh, F6 uh, to open the um, visual uh, graphic uh, graphics user interface layout the debugger, and uh, <coughs> this basically. Um, shows uh, um, information about the different elements in Steam, like uh, while this dialog is open, you can't really click on anything in Steam. If you do, you'll select them. Um, like if you select, uh, you know, just library, and then go in here, you can see information about it. Uh, like, you know, uh, the uh, the name and class of it, and uh, other details like its position, uh, the font, etc., uh, and where the language for it is defined, um, and also see which files the layout is defined in, and then you just uh, you know like click it, Steam styles, click it, and you can uh, just modify the entire file here. Um, but to show you an example, I'm going going to go into France and then view France list. And then I'm just gonna shut the main window. Friends. Okay, so this is the this is the friends menu. Um and you've got one menu. So uh you like hit of six and then click friends and you know then you can see the different information you can change font etc. Um but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another menu to have a list of some servers that I play on uh, oftenly. Often. Whatever. Um, so go into Steam folder, resource, then menus, and then uh, open your friends uh, menu file. Um, and you know, if, if, if you haven't associated with any program, you can just. Uh, 
double click it and just you know open with um, but I've associated with uh, notepad plus plus so this is the file that defines the friends menu as you can see here we've got you know we've got the um, this is the unique name of the menu this is not the text but this is a unique name for the menu this is the text and the uh, sharp symbol uh, uh, you know um, specifies that uh, this is a string in one of the localization files um, but you can just type uh, a text directly and then you've got the different items like add a friend text again divider is the line then you know sort by name show avatars online users only blah 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 divider settings and so we're just going to copy this paste it just below and then rename this to my servers and call it you know my servers and then we're going to delete all of these except the add friend and I'm going to rename this to my um, test server and then type in text you type my test server and then there are a few other commands like uh, the uh, shell command which is basically just you know it executes a URL, a URL um, like over here I'm just going to type connect then a slash and then the IP of the server this is just a test I'm just going to type uh, localhost and then for some random port which is not completely random anyway um, there's also other uh, properties like the command which you know is some uh, steam specific commands I don't really know them all um, but you could search around the, uh, the steam files to to find them um, then there is a checkable which makes it possible to you know you know set a a check in the menu item um, like this but this should work and because I'm running in developer mode I will see the change instantly uh, if I didn't I would have to restart steam to see the difference um, but you know as soon as I hit save we should get a new menu and there it is and I can see it, it tried to connect but you know I'm not really running any service um, so that's pretty much how you make skins in real time um, of course you can change all this uh, and like notification uh, for example notifications you know the pop-ups down here you can change here um, last time I checked uh, you had to restart steam regardless of whether or not you were in developer mode to change uh, the notifications I don't know why and I don't know if they have fixed them um, but you know this is how long it should be displayed uh, the time it takes for it to fade in uh, where it should come from like if you change this to a horizontal it will come from from the side and then go in um, and then, then the position so upper left, upper right, you know middle left perhaps middle right, I don't know um, stack size, how many can be stacked before you know they get queued um, I like uh, also, if you're like anywhere in Steam, uh, if you hit F8, it'll create a fake achievement pop-up. So you can test here. Well, let me just test if they fixed it. Save and then test again. No, see, you have to restart. But you can see it, it, it'll limit to three and then uh, queue them, show them once the other disappears. The others disappear. Um, so, well, yeah, that's basically it. I'm probably going to change this to my real own server. Um, but yeah, there's so many things you can do. Change the font, you can make this, you know, super size. Um, whatever. So, well, see you later.